Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. Today, we're going to be looking at the Legacy Faction and how to unlock the locked units. So this is the Legacy map. There are... Can you please stop? I said stop! The already unlocked unit is a peasant. Despite being two halflings stacked on top of each other, it is the cheapest unit in the game. Just like what the image says, we must knock it down. The first unit is the banner bear. They can be found bed in this banner bearing red camp. Banner bearer. The unit costs 100. Its basic functionality is to have units stand still. It's very useful, though. It can be used for ranged tactics. Campaigns with story? Range tactics? Whereas you might have a bunch of archers moving forward without this banner bearing bastard. The banner bearer prevents his units from moving forward, and therefore they stand like they have a stick up their ass, waiting for their enemies to move towards them. And then, they can wobble around and slowly move forward. You're not even doing your job properly, mate. At least the archers did their job. The second unit is a beloved icon from the pre-alpha but removed in the open alpha being too overpowered. In loving memory of poetry, your eyes pierced all our hearts. The poacher! Costing 120, this unit is basically the archer but more overpowered. Whereas archers have longer range and higher accuracy, they also cost more at 140. And while the poachers may have a shorter range, and low accuracy, they also fire at a faster rate. Although the arrows also do less damage. It took you 10 shots to hit one guy that was 10 feet in front of you. Not even. What are you doing with your life? The poacher is powerful though, and the poacher can poach his arrows at the poaching king because the king sent out poachers to poach the eggs and oh god this is bad the next unit is one that has been in development for a little bit of time he was the only surviving one of its faction and it was given a grave for it his name is blow data the unit blows darts and if that doesn't sound like an innuendo i don't know what does Costing 220, this bastard is quite powerful. It can take out rows and rows upon of presents. And I am not retaking that line because I am not bothered to get back out of here. Oh my god. I feel like the peasants won. I don't think you're supposed to downward dog when the peasants are downward dogging you. One cool thing about the blow darters is that the unit that they're hitting is poisoned. We're slowly making them go down for sleep. Oh my god. It will also make them lose health because that's what poison does. You tried to be in the Anna Jones, didn't you? The next unit hanging out at the corner of the Church of the Wobbly Horse is very long. Don't take that out of context. The pike. This unit's weapon is long. There's no getting around it. He has a big fucking stick, okay? It's a big fucking stick with a piece of metal on it, and he's gonna fuck you up with it. No questions asked. No answers answered. Nothing said, nothing done. Just fuck you. You're wondering, King? Fuck you. You're Shogun? Fuck you. You're a peasant? Fuck you. It's a big fucking stick. The pike costs 300 and he'll take that $300 and shove it up your ass. 
His pike is very long and does a lot of damage because it's a big fucking stick. You see this big metal thing? That curvy bitch is going right up your rectum. And the rest of it is giving you a castration. You're gonna lose your dick, you're gonna lose your ass, you're gonna fucking die. Go faster! The next unit is present at the explosive blue camp. As we can see, it's a simple barrel. However, it is filled with fiery substance. It's a barrel roll, a bitch. Where did he come from? Where did he go? Where did he come from? <laughs> There's so many questions to be asked. Why does it look like he's about to fall off the barrel? Why? Why is he on a barrel? What the fuck is wrong with his neck? There's one answer to everything. This is the answer. Boom. They were employed by ISIS to blow everyone up. And they will ruin the day with poachers too. Even if the plan fucking fails, they're still gonna ruin your day, mate. Oh god, oh god. No, no, the plan, the plan, no, no! This bow is gonna explode on you. There's no way around it. It doesn't matter whether you're a king or whether you're a bard who's trying to get his dick sucked. There's no way around it. You're gonna die. For 350, you can ruin some motherfucker's day by blowing them the fuck up. There's nothing else to say about this one. Just... What happened to your neck, mate? I think he's dead. Yep, now he's dead. I don't know whether this one got exiled from the red camp or just wanted to do some sick rituals with his gloves. But either way, in the strangely safe to rocks and trees, we have the boxer. The most important thing to a boxer is a belt. So why don't we see who wins that belt? The rituals were all for nothing, mate. The boxer cost 450, and he's kind of a dick about it. Like, just because you're worth 450 doesn't mean you can shove your boxing gloves up some poor person's ass. More likely you yourself are gonna get a fist in the ass. Not them. But just like every gay man, he got a fist in the ass, but still endured it and gave the others a fist in the ass. <laughs> I don't know if he's endureful or he's just too thick, but he can somehow take a few of these shots. So he's gonna punch the fuck out of some poachers and send them back into the memorial they came from. His arrows pierced his heart. But he still survived. It's a sunny blue sky day. The sun is out. And it's glorious. Let's see who wins the final of the boxing championship. Box, 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 I straight for the bed team. Box, 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 box. And while all the fun stuff has been going down on the red camp, the barrel roller even having a bend in the blue camp, we still have a bearer in the blue camp. The flag bearer. It's unfortunate that the banner bearer wasn't placed in the blue camp because then we could have had the banner bearer bearing the banner in the banner bearing blue cap and that's just cool instead we have to have this sword that indicates to run the fuck away it doesn't matter that you can run fast when the team has a bunch of inept pokers that was a great pun and i'm sticking with it though it doesn't matter if you have shields when a giant barrel rolls towards you and blows you the fuck up then you get pinched by arrows. Costing 500. This boy can go faster than a guy closing the tab when he's watching porn on the family computer. This man steps more than Monica Lewinsky sucking Bill Clinton's dick in the office. This man is awesome. And he'll run at you if you say otherwise. This is the life of a flag bearer. I 
at this point it's just never gonna end. Hey, want a spark cranberry? <laughs> Gotta run forward. <laughs> Damn it. The next unit is in fact royalty, which is why he was buried in the top of the world church of the Wobbidors. What is he? Ah, I know. He's here. He's mummified. He's dumbified. He's the pharaoh. This mug asshole is a real prick about being royalty. Despite the fact that his kingdom died out about 4,500 years ago. He is part of one of the oldest civilizations on earth, and yet he still can't get over the fact that he's royalty. He reminds me of that rich kid in school. He he reminds me of that smug at of that dumbass smug rich kid in school who thinks he's the shit. Costing 750, this man can still capture an audience. I don't know how the fuck he does it, but he does it. It's a shame when the audience catches him. There's not much to say about this guy other than the fact that he should die with a spike. And the flag bearer knows that. Too bad. Okay, thank you. Got me on to the next unit now, so thank you for that. Follow this path past the Poacher Memorial and the Pike Covered Church, and you'll find a wheelbarrow and a hatch with the smoke. I mean, it. It's the wizard bit. Gusting 1200. This man has his pipe in his mouth so much, I think he must have lung cancer. His stuff looks like he forged it out of wood and then shoved a glowing blue stone inside it. Him having a shiny sword magnifies the fact that his magic is as factual as a flat earth theory. His sword may have a cool quest that looks as if he just put three seeds in a pattern with a gold background. But the handle of the sword Looks as if someone shoved it inside a weird machine or something. His beard looks as if he hasn't trimmed it in months. And yet he still has the smugness to cost twelve a hundred dollars. And yet he's and yet he's somewhere even slightly useful in that he can, you know, cause lightning to happen. Like, if you have that ability. You must have some magic. Still, if you have that magic, why wouldn't you just have two staffs? You could cause twice as much chaos and still smoke your pipe. All in all, this unit is not a bag of magic, but just a bag of lightning-filled lies. I know I'm probably gonna get zapped for that, but I don't give a shit. He can strike people and kill as many as he wants, but I still will go on to believe that he's a bag of magic lies and not a bag of just magic. He's less of a wizard and more of a magician who's so inept that all his magic tricks go wrong except for that one cool lightning trick. He's like a guy that brought a shovel to a wood cutting contest. He's the type of person to say that he stubbed his finger. He's the type of person to say that smoking is good for you. He's the type of person to say that magic is real and then perform a magic trick that obviously isn't real. He's a fucking idiot and all he has for him is lightning. Speaking of lightning. We've got someone who moves at lightning fast speed. Despite having two olive branches with leaves on them, he is anything but peaceful. He is the chariot. The wobbly horse is indeed a wobbly bitch. This one is completely made of fucking rubber, as you can see. He barely even fits the ring. Anyway, back to originally scale program. His horse is able to survive an attack by the wizard. That's good in my book. Costing 1800. This boy is able to run at the speed of sound. Which I think is the speed of lightning. Is that true? By the way, this guy's fast as fuck and is about to get buried in a pile of peasants as fast as fuck. Long neck or not, you don't deserve to kill the chariot owner. And this boy is about to die because of his idiocy. This church is a liability like no other and it should go to hell. 
He crashed into the church of Wobbly Horse, and that's just the thing that a Wobbly Horse would do. Go around in circles until his opponents are dead. Welcome to the life of the Wobbly Horse. The chariot basically has the horse run at his enemies and then attack. The chariot rider then comes out, blocks arrows and fights with his sword. Although in all honesty, if the horse dies, I think the chariot rider is as good as dead too. You can definitely defeat two peasants. Are you serious right now? You can't defy gravity. Your own is dead. What are you gonna do with your life now? How can you even destroy this thing? I give up. What the fuck was that? Speaking of lightning, we get to go now to the source of that sound. With seared trees and ruins, it seems as if a hammer has crashed into the fridge and created the ground. It's Thor, baby! And the lightning has stopped. Other than ruining my fucking videos with his noise, Thor is quite a cool dude. His hammer looks awesome, although it's lost one of its symbols. And overall, Thor is a cool guy. Although, wearing shorts and boots at the same time is just horrendous. He has gone in some battles in his time. As he can do. Well, a lot of fucking shit. He can strike lightning and hit bitches on the ground. He can encase himself fully in lightning and not give a fucking damn. And this is what it feels like to be inside lightning. Huh. The poachers think they can stop him, but in reality, all they're gonna do is get lightning. That's all there is to it. Get hit, bitch. Costing 220. Thor is a pretty cool guy. You can even go toe to toe with the boxes. Our next unit is probably the hardest to find out of every legacy unit. He is located literally under the ground. Inside a hole. If we go in here, it's illuminated like the radiance, and we find the remnants of a forking tank. Six thousand dollars. Yeah. Tank. Blasting opponents to bits. Mm -hmm. Blasting those fucking smug ass peasants. Going down the road in my big ass tank. With my boys, it's fun. Going, 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 going down the road in my big ass tank. With my boys, it's fun. Going, going, going. That's basically all you need to know about the tank. Right? <clears throat> Thank you. Now I get to the really other powered units. As if the one before was no powered enough. This landfall grave indicates glowing boxer gloves. Apparently, going in front of it turns it gold. The super boxer. A 10,000. His boxer is like Mike Tyson against literally every other boxer in existence. He'll punch you so hard, he'll rip your ear off, and he'll punch so much, he'll rip your face off. He'll break you before you even start the battle. He'll just break you, in all honesty. He's ready to get face to face with one boxer. And by that I mean the poacher. This is not how you box. No. <laughs> no, shut up. Once again, I should detail it costs 10,000. He's like a boxer that went Super Saiyan, except if Super Saiyan was Mike Tyson. I don't know what the fuck happened to him, and I don't know what fucking roids he is on, but I like it. His gloves are longer than half of his arms, and I appreciate that. He's gonna grab you and fuck you up and send you into the stratosphere, and that's amazing. He's a super boxer, and it is country. You don't own boxer glove. Boxer glove on you. No, even a tank can probably kill him. He'll dodge the shit out of it. Then he'll punch it up as if it was his wife. Yeah, I just made a domestic abuse joke. Don't you fucking forget it. Our next unit is one that's twisted. One that was a peasant. Unnamed. But dark and hard. 
What if so? His black hands were blacker than his heart. He's the dark peasant. Costing nine 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 nine, which is the cost that only would have come out of Portal 2. His eyes looks as if he's dead inside. And all of his insides is fire. He's like Ghost Rider. He, per he has permanent thousands of jazz hands around him and the worst haircut you have ever seen. His hands are dark, his hands are darker, and his heart is the darkest. I would match his cost up with a peasant, but I think that would be mathematically impossible for this game. So let's get 20 tanks instead. And this is how he reacts. As you can see, all that explosion seems to have caused absolutely no damage. The chaos of this battle is about as much as you would expect from something that has jazz hands for weapons. He did all this without taking a single tick of damage, and he's fucking proud of it. It doesn't matter that you have an army king, you're still be gonna be fucked up. The king's arch is uh, blocked by hands. And his army is even more fucked up by hands. And dark matter. Quick fun fact for you. Apparently the dark peasant and the soul caster are the exact same being. And... I, I can kinda see that. Yeah. I, I'll go with that. So what the fuck happened to your eyes, mate? In the final unit. The yin to the dark peasant's yang. Inside a bell. What the fuck did I do that? What? What? Inside a bell lies the bracelet of the greatest hero we've ever seen. The super peasant! Oh yes, and once you do all that, you've unlocked the secret campaign. Go play it now after you've unlocked all these sweet units. It's quite hard actually. But it will be worth it in the end because you'll be able to just see how all these units work out in that one. Despite costing the same as a super peasant, he actually has way less health. Although, as we can see from here, he is a lot more dangerous. That's a feat that very few single units could accomplish. He literally chains death to each other. He killed about most of these army before the ice birth didn't even finish. He'll punch you so hard by the time he's even moved one more centimeter, you'll be in another area code. It seems that the bracelets themselves control him, and he doesn't control the bracelets. Once again, he seems to have gone Super Saiyan. I don't know what the fuck Super Saiyan is, and I don't care. My man here is awesome. His hair is over his eyes and blonde as fuck. And he's gonna kill you. You may be a simple peasant, but he's coming quickly at you. By the time the round has ended, you'll be halfway inside the floor. He'll somehow manage to kill you in a way, and all your friends will die too. He'll stack a health bar onto his own, and he'll make you feel like you have never felt before. You're not a roadblock, you're not even a bother, you're not even an annoyance. You're simply heir to him. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give this video a like. If you like our channel, please consider subscribing. Uh, thank you. Uh, I'll see you next time. World Peace, just a uh, good person. Ah, ah, ah!